Tonight we are doing something really, really fun and exciting. I got a message the other day from a very nice gentleman named Brian Ward who was telling me about his giant split cup. <laughs> so this is kind of awesome. It's a four chamber split cup and um, he sent it to me with a couple of other goodies which are really, really cool. And I'm really curious about playing with this. So I'm not entirely positive how much paint goes in here. I'm guessing probably about 50 ounces or so. Um, I have about 60 ounces of paint, so <laughs> we'll be more than good. Uh, that is a convexo canvas round and uh, kind of looks like Captain America's shield to me at the moment. So <laughs> we're gonna use these colors in this giant split cup and we're gonna do a ring pour on this convexo canvas. So it should be really interesting and I think I might spin it out at the end, we'll see. So uh, let me show you my colors real quick. I'm gonna push this out of the way just a tiny bit so I have some room. Okay. All right, so the first one we're using is one we used in Indigo Sparks, which I will also show you, it's over there. This is Anthroquinone Blue from Golden. Gorgeous color, nice and deep, very rich, beautiful purple tones, pairs beautifully with purples like it did in Indigo Sparks, was just awesome. Oh, I forgot to tell you about my gloves. Uh, a lovely friend of mine, Irish Hall, sent me these Loli Vefe silicone gloves that are reusable, so, they were kind of cool. <laughs> I got paint on them already. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how they go. They feel good. They feel good. Uh, they're a little, I don't know, they're very flexible. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so those are the Loli Vefe silicone gloves, which I will link for you in the description box. So we have our Anthroquinone Blue. This one is Artist Loft Violet. And that's a very pretty color. Not as dark as the Dioxazine Purple and it's more blue than like Amsterdam red violet. So that's violet. Okay, now this next one's a little weird. This one started out as Color Shift Orchid Flash, which is a really pretty pinkish color. So I'm not a big pink person. <laughs> so I was a little surprised at myself for wanting this color to begin with, but I said, okay, let's try it. Let's mix it up. So I mixed it up and I didn't like it. It was too pink. And so I took just a tiny bit of my Anthroquinone Blue and I threw it in there. And now I actually kind of like the color. It's a pretty silvery lavender, which is really, it's kind of cool looking. So now I'm interested to see what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a darker blue, a mid-tone violet, a light violet. We also have our 24 karat gold from Deco Art. Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And we have last but not least, this is our, sticking to the paper towel, uh, Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels Pure White with some Amsterdam Pearl Violet in there. That also has some of those sort of flashy properties, but I never really see it to be honest with you, which I was disappointed because I really was looking forward to that. So that's our pure white. Okay, so the game plan is, it's five colors, but the split cup has four chambers. All right, so we said we were gonna put the darker blue on one side. We're gonna take our anthroquo. Now my game plan is, even though we have five colors, I intend to put four of these colors in the chambers, and then I'm gonna take the gold and put it in at different levels throughout the different colors. So. We're gonna start with our anthroquinone blue. We're gonna go on the side here, and I'm gonna fill it up about a third of the way. That. And I'm gonna put some gold in there. Okay. It's so far down, I need a flashlight. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put there some more blue on top of that. That's the anthroquinone blue. So that's a 15 ounce or 16 ounce cup and I probably had it filled to 15 ounces and it's almost empty. So each one of these is probably 15 ounces. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of gold in the very bottom of this one. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. And I'm gonna come in with the white. Mm 
maybe blending with the gold, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, now that one didn't fill up all the way. You can't get more of this out. Maybe you're right, maybe the center chambers are slightly yeah. larger. Yeah, they are, because that was 15 ounces and that's all the way up there, and this is only over here. Okay, so now you say the lavender in the next one, right, in the middle? I. No, I don't know, I think I'm going to, all right. Okay, so we're going to go with the lavender-y sort of color that used to be orchid. And we're going to go about halfway. And we're going to put some gold in there. You doing it kind of dirty or? Well, I was trying to do it. It's just far down there, so there's not, I don't think there's a way to get it. <laughs> not some of it blending, okay. So we're going to use all of that. That's a lot of paint in there. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> Three down, one to go. Okay. And I know I went to art school, but if you've got four chambers with 15 ounces each, that's 60. Yeah. I know I went to art school. <laughs> art people do math to you. I do a lot of math for my art. Okay, we're gonna put some gold in there. And some more purple, the violet, excuse me. And it is kind of dirty. Yeah, see this one's gone all the way up to the top again. The same as the blue. So the center chambers are definitely bigger. Okay, that's all right. That's perfectly fine. 64 ounces is totally plausible then. That's a big cup. <laughs> that's a really big cup. And it's heavy. Okay, so I'm going to pull this back over here now. <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I less. I'm as ready as I can be. <laughs> <laughs> as ready as I can be. Okay, I'm going to pour a puddle of gold in the center. I'm just going to keep it the same thickness. A little bit more. All right. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I hope I can. This is a two-hander. Well, the other thing I'm worried about is that the glove is going to make it slippery or sticky. I don't actually know. So, we'll see. Because they are silicone, so there's this, like, slickness. All right. Oh, my. I got this. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? All right, Les. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. All right.
just shove it over before you spin it. Yeah, no, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna spin it out now. Are you ready, darling? Oh yeah, baby. I don't want to spin it too fast because I don't want it to flip. Which it is. Just got my boots. That's so cool though. Is that something moving? You could call it Yeet the Spinner. Don't worry, I got this. I'm taking off a lot of gold too. At this point, it might look cooler if you expanded all of that. Where is that ball spot right there?
to center it again? Hmm? You're trying to center it again? No. I'm trying to open up the parts that I like. Where the cool stuff is happening. and forth, see all these little cells that are popping up? They're all gonna keep coming up and get a little bigger and bigger and bigger. See, there's like this line right across the center that I can see and that's what's bugging me. But I don't wanna lose those any of those parts that I would to change that. Quinone blue. I love the 24 karat gold. I love the white mixing with the blue and getting some of that lavender color in there and the darker violet. And I love those lines. I'm tempted to open those lines up even more because I think that's much cooler than just this like solid. But this is pretty awesome here because there's gold in here with the purple and then there's the darker blue. I think we're just going to stay here because I do like it like this. Now that that line sort of is kind of like a horizon almost, I like it better. Actually, we still take it that way some more and open those up a little bit more. stop there <laughs> so I'm gonna take this into the room to dry and I'm gonna wipe off the table and then I will show you indigo sparks so we'll be back in just a moment um, I do like this I think it's interesting it's not exactly what I thought was gonna happen but you know that's kind of the cool part about fluid art you never know exactly what's gonna happen even though you try to influence things as much as you can but I do really like this I like how it's working the only thing that I'm not crazy about
we've done it. Might as well do it, right? Okay, that's better. So that's pretty trippy. I don't want to tilt it down. <laughs> of course you do. Because you said you were done. Yeah. I should just stop saying it. Okay. Let's torch it. And then you'll know I'm done. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go put this down and then I'm gonna clean off the table and then I will show you Indigo Spark. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cleaned off the table and I wanted to show you the dried result for Indigo Spark, or Sparks, because this one came out really, really beautiful. I love the anthraquinone blue in there. I love the blue-violet where it mixed and made that like pretty purple color, light purple. I like where it mixed with the white. I like the fingerlings thing over here, but most of all, I love these cells. There's some like perfect, just beautiful, look at how cute that one is. And these just like beautiful, perfect white rings with blue centers, it's very, very pretty. And some gold around these, just very, very pretty. I like this piece a lot. So this came out really, really cool. This is Indigo Sparks and uh, that was fun. So there is one other thing I wanted to share with you. <laughs> As I said, thank you to Brian Ward from Spontaneous Creations on Etsy. He also sent me this nifty little uh, cap for a flow troll. So, and it's kind of cool. It says Spontaneous Creations around the outside of it. So, and it's awesome because the, the lid screws onto there too, so it stays closed. So that was really fun. I was really happy about that. So, what does that thing do? It strains the flow troll keeps the flow troll boogers from coming out. <laughs> and there's one little thing that I wanted to give you guys a quick sneak peek about. So this is what I've been playing with. I've been practicing bloom swipes, which are very, very exciting. I'm gonna be doing a collaboration with Karen Dershin of Waterfall Acrylics very, very soon. And I am super, super happy and excited about it. I can't wait. And I've been practicing and practicing, and this one was looking pretty cool. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I can't stop smiling now. So the other thing that's really, really cool is we are rapidly approaching 40,000 subscribers, which I'm super excited about. And uh, I want to do a giveaway. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you guys to comment with your favorite video of mine in the comments below. And uh, if you can share the videos, that's always appreciated and awesome and help me get to 40,000, we're only like 200 away. <laughs> so um, we will pick a random winner from the comments list. All you have to do is tell me which one of my videos is your favorite one. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll do a, what was it called? Random comment picker on uh, YouTube live, or not live, but we'll do it on screen for you so you can see who wins. And we'll give away a couple of really cool little things that I've been working on. So I'm excited about this, it's gonna be fun. So go ahead and comment and enter and we will see you for the next one. Okay, so this is a few days later and it's actually dry, mostly dry. It might be a little tacky in the middle, but oh my goodness, what a difference from this morning until now. This is just, I, I don't know, this morning I was a little wishy-washy about it, but right now I am just in love with the colors in this and the way that the metallics are, this beautiful subtle sheen on everything is just really, really gorgeous. I absolutely love this part in here with all of these individual lines that are kind of glowing because of that satin enamels in the back and that pearly sort of light lavender color that was the folk art one, the orchid flash that I put the anthraquinone blue in. I love the anthraquinone blue in there. I love where it mixed with the gold and made all these gorgeous lines and these cells with these like veins of darker colors. Just, so cool. I love this part down here with the darker blue, violet, purple with the gold 
that's just amazing. This is really beautiful and I love these. This, these gorgeous gold lines in the middle of all that white. I love this part. This is, I'm just very happy with this now. <laughs> I wasn't too sure about it at first, but I just, I'm absolutely in love right now. So this is really cool. This is Moonflower because it kind of reminds me of like a sea anemone. Anemone. I still can't say. <laughs> anemone, a flower, like one of those, you know, tenderly things in the ocean, but there also is a very galactic feel to it. So moonflower. So this is very, very cool. Giant thank yous again to Brian Ward from Spontaneous Creations on Etsy for that massive, gigantic, wonderful split cup and uh, all the little goodies you sent. So this was awesome. Make sure you guys check out his Etsy shop and uh, you know, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. So make sure you comment, tell me which one is your favorite video. And if you can, why it's your favorite video, I always like to know. And uh, you will be entered for the drawing for the giveaway pieces, which I just painted tonight and they're pretty cool, I gotta say. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about this. So thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys on Sunday. Have a wonderful day.